Hey everybody, this is my project for this week. Um, <clears throat> I chose to go um, to work on C++ a bit more and I created a messaging system. It's a very simple one. Um, so here's my repository here uh, with all the project, with all the files and everything. <clears throat> um, so pretty much what I made was a simple messaging system where you can create new a new account and send messages and receive messages and view the converse, conversations and also delete messages. And that's kind of a very quick and brief rundown of, of what this program does. But here in a minute, I'll, I'll show the code and, and kind of walk it through with you guys. Um, but wanted to mention that I would use VS Code to complete this project as well as um, uh, I was able to use a bunch of libraries uh, through the C++ libraries available. And here they all are mentioned right here. Um, but yeah, let's get into the code real quick. So this is the code um, for the messaging system. Uh, I wrote it in a very functional way for the main file, this messaging message system file, um, all in functions. But however, I did include a user class um, to help with all of the users that get created in this messaging system. And so let me go ahead and run it for you guys. <clears throat> so as you can see in your terminal, um, it gives a little welcoming message and it asks for a username. And just for the fun of it, let's create a new user. It'll tell you if there's no, we have our users stored in this user.json. So this is where all the users will pop up. Um, so is it if if you enter a username and it recognizes that there's no that that username isn't in the user's file, then it'll prompt you to make a new account if you would like. And so I'll go ahead and say yes. Um, just do password. So automatically, when you when you make a new account, you're automatically um, granted access to this program or to this, I guess, interface. Um, and so now we can do a, a bunch of different things with this. We can send messages, we can view the conversation or we can delete messages. Um, so let's just view the conversation right now. And so this is pretty neat. This actually pulls data from this file from this messages.csv file. Um, and so it, it has the user on the left and then it has the, the message that they sent and the time that they sent it. So let's go back, I'll pull this again, pull this up again. Um, all right, so let's send a message. Put, uh, It says message sent. And so I don't want to add another message. Let me return to menu and then view conversation now. And here's this new testing part. So this was a lot of fun. I got to work with C++ more and learn a bit more. It honestly didn't know too much about C++ before this, but it was a lot, a lot to take in and it was a lot of fun. Um, one last thing I can show is this deleting functionality that we have here. It's pretty dangerous to give all the users access to this, but um, and I'll edit that more as I work on this. But if we enter delete or, or D for delete, it'll ask us if we're sure. And I'll say yes. And it says, okay, all messages deleted. So let's verify that. 
and view the conversation and there's nothing there. So that was my project again. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and hope you have a good day.